Hello and welcome to the Outer Worlds. Apparently we have a quest here. Let's take a look. Who goes there? Hunt down and kill Captain McRed. Very well then. Sounds easy enough. I do have my gun ready, right? Seems like it. Hey McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Let's parley then. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Well, why don't you put that down before you incinerate the entire dog? I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. Well, I'm here for some parts. June Lay sent me. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. Can you give me the parts or not? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Oh, those parts are le leaking deadly toxins. I'll just come back after you're dead. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. There was actually something else as well. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. There is a bounty on your head, and I want to claim. Listen to the fire of those convictions. This one's hungry for justice. Alive or dead? Rare or medium? What's it gonna be? How do you want me cooked, bounty hunter? There is no need for violence. Give me your lighter and the bounty disappears. My flame? Shit. A little flick here got me started on the pyro path. Fine. He's yours. Give him a good home. Does it say Sunita on it? Keen eyes you got there. Sunita gave me this lighter. We had a carnal understanding a few years back. And she wanted me to have something to remember by. Right. You can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. No worries. Goes one more. I can do this all day. Just watch. Well then. And I wanted to execute him. Such a pity that he was so fragile. Well, don't let them tell you that I don't fulfill my bounties. Anyway, I had a sniper. I did want to use that. Apparently that's theft. Scrap mechanical. Gonna take a look at that in a moment first. Now that was an excellent shot. Try to execute you again. I 
I still prefer using a pistol. It's quick, it's fast, it's personal. I wouldn't mind if I was a little bit better with that. We did find a couple of axes, might as well sell some of them, and by sell I mean break down. Ninety, three shots, thirty-three. Wait. Okay. I have to take a look at that laser pistol when I upgrade it completely. It's gonna take a lot of money, though. I wish my pistol would fire stronger bullets, something heavier, let's say. Triple blade. Ooh, what is this? Tech skills plus five. Well, that's nice. What about you? Stout skills and dodge. It's also purple. I prefer this one. It looks colder, somewhat more menacing. I'm not saying that blue isn't cold, it's just that this shade of blue with the pink doesn't fit well. This one is dead. These guys didn't even see me coming. So that was nice. Okay, let's take a look at the map. There are basically three places I can go. Let's start with this one. Bullshit. Wake up. There's no such thing as pizza. It's all open-faced pasta. You've been getting into the boss of special stash again, haven't you? I mean, guys, come on, you're outlaws. Let's support the law. I don't think I'm missing anything here. Apparently there was a way to sneak around. Now there were these stairs, I don't know where they lead, but let's take them. I see. Okay then. Nothing to worry about. Next, here. We're going down. What's wrong with you? I oh, haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure how long ago that was. McGred tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. Well, you're probably better off in engineering than down here, with the outlaws. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Be seeing you, stranger. You're welcome. Beret? What? Oops. What do you think you're doing? Um, nothing. 
Don't let me catch you around here again. Well, you guys are gonna die. Didn't you die? That weapon is complete garbage for me. And there's my execution. Okay then, just take everything from the kitchen. I don't think I'm missing anything, at least nothing important. Yes. What do you think you're doing? Whatever I want. You're free to go. Really? Okay. But anyway, I'm gonna break this down. We don't need this or this. This is well, I was gonna say garbage, but is it? Thirty-five. Yeah. Hundred and seventy. So this completely charged is definitely better than this. We're gonna sell you. Does everyone get bread? I was hoping to see if I can actually make him speak with me without the other one noticing, but apparently that was a no go. Sorry, outlaws. You had your chance. When I started the Groundbreaker, I thought this would be my gateway to the stars, the beginning of a new epic tale as a spacer. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws, not even for selling. They just eat the damn things by a handful. Some of the crew have been tripping them for weeks. Suppose it could have been worse. Heard of sublight contractors who got dissolved in chemicals and flushed down waste treatment for stealing from Leolia. Leolia. Leo. Leoia. Leoia. Okay. Now Macrid is always happy to see me. Calls me his fungus lord. Macrid just set a man on fire for having his lands undone. Maybe I need to be more careful about what I'm growing. Or to find something that calms him down. Time to experiment. Oh, he never got the chance. A squad leader, sure. Shocky stick. One-handed, damage per second, 259, 267. I honestly think this one is gonna be a little bit more useful, though I do wish I can switch the damage a little bit on this one. Everything I use here is shock damage, not shock damage, um, plasma damage based.
Zero G brew. Right then. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at that in a moment. New parts for the radiators. Right, that's a thing we need. That's what happens when you live on the edge. You get to die. At some point. So that thing uses heavy ammo. Can't say I blame it. That's a lot of garbage here. Where did this thing even fall from? Can you show me the map? Doesn't say. Oh, hello. Apparently I missed some of you. Especially you, because you're important. Did I get the parts, by the way? You were able to peacefully resolve... <laughs> yeah, sure. With Macred to retrieve the parts and head back to Junlei. You killed Macret and are now free to go retrieve the parts. Go grab them and head back to Junlei. Junli. Junlei. Do you want to test this out? How fast are you actually? Four times. Well, not bad. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I know I'm happy that this guy was willing to listen to me, yet... Oh, is that it? Yeah, that was incredibly loud, thanks. Handguns, maybe, we'll see. Still need to reach engineering. 50. Then perhaps 100. Dialogue. We can go with lie and intimidate. Defense. Dodge. Block. Inspiration. Engineering. Hmm. Handguns would be nice. Dodge. Dodge distance, harm from status, effect duration goes up or down? Goes down, okay. Sneaking and hacking, it's always nice to do, but I do want to add my engineering skills. Okay, that, that works, to a degree. We have two more points. Should I go with sneaking and lockpicking? Sure. Yeah, I know I changed my mind. So we want handguns and dialogue to go up a little bit. Let's accept that and keep on moving.
is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regular You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Well, I got the parts for your radiator. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manta infestation. Hmm. Define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators and here we are. I got your parts. Why do I have to go through some maintenance stuff? If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. Very well. Let's hope I don't die from this. Aren't you kind of scared? I have no idea how I managed to stagger a swarm of bees. Seems like you're stuck there. Okay. Archive logs and transmission. Arrival confirmation. The AHHB Earth HQ transmitted via probe achieved a shore. It is my honor to report that Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at Langwarren Point, having released our cargo of Prefabo housing, settlers and supplies at their intended colony worlds may they prosper and expand. Now, that stage 1 and 2 of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreaker as specified in our contract, keeping the ship is active duty as an independent training port, repair stop and cargo bay. I would miss the remiss if I close this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There is so much ahead of us, but we will never forget what we have left behind. Chief Gwiling. Some very rich and unsavory elements amongst our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for nine-figure blood money, salary, and a Spacer's Choice logo stamped on my ass. It wasn't to Nico the Dime, passing ships or their last bit. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities. Period. I negotiated an understanding and cleared outlined it is written before I have set foot on this ship. If anyone wants to dispute or com compromise our independence, they will answer to Tennyson. We're a family operation. Even when the last Tennyson falls, Groundbaker will remain us and defend its freedom accordingly. Sure. Oh, apparently I'm thirsty. As fortune would have it, we have some water, don't we? We have fruit and yes. Also, since we're here, I'm gonna ask you to be designated as junk. You as well. I might need to keep you for now. Let's sell you. What level are you again? 33. No, I mean uh, level 3, but uh, 33 times 3. That's more than this. And this one is level 15. If I upgrade this gun, it's going to be magnificent, actually. Oh, 
Right. Let's go back to business. Apparently I severed its head when I shot it. That's nice. Speaking of which... Bees. How did you survive the hit? I guess this is where you thrive, actually, so that's a stupid question. Oh! Those are the radiators I need to avoid. Thank you. Boxy. Finally. Good news. Song tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Sneak fast if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. Apparently I need to open this from the other side, because there is no short way in. That means engineering is kinda dumb, unless they have explanation why I have to go this way. Should I try to snipe one of them? That's actually pretty fast shooting right there. How are you going to repair that if I disintegrate it? Maimed and gone. Oh, you need some new ones, I guess. Should be told, dead or alive, I still get paid. Unexpected noise. Investigating. Yes, that was interesting. Let me go back up there so I can take this box. I mean, I was expecting that there might be a reason I would jump there. Hmm. Okay, take the Adreno. Adreno, Adreno, right. Nothing else? Good. Cobbled together. The staff is getting restless. 
workarounds and half-cooked solutions are all we have got to mend Groundbreaker's bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma lived with that reality, and so will I. I can really... I can really... Our spirits... Ah, rally, okay. But what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreaker is a real test. We'll be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. Found some of Chief Gwing's old schematics. Groundbreaker must have taken a beating during the crossing because the spent half of her career patched it up. Lots of corners cut when they put this place together. Amongst her papers I also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of the talk. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood cells isolating an infection. I hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find something whereabout in the guts of our old bird, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Non-expendable personnel must exit the maintenance shaft before activating the cycling protocol. Done. The temperatures are dropping. Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you things. Yes, it does. Ow. Right then. I'm getting hungry. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Oh, that's nice. So, what is it like being in command around here? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. So, this is a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was... Promoted, only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. Well, my condolences, Jun Lei. I'm sure these were some big shoes to fill. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. Oh. Um, where's the self-destruct mechanism? I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. So, aren't you a little young to be training a successor? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next Captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. Cool. You've got my attention. So, you don't have a lot of faith in the board. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. And how do you keep the board on a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Well, 
Don't take this the wrong way, but you really don't seem that threatening. You must not like Odin Benford very much. I like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udon Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. Right then, back to my other questions. You've got my attention. Well, I have no other questions. Hey, you the one who fixed this the fridge? Nice work. You really saved our funds. Whenever you're free, let's have a chat. Story. Okay then. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Why would we run out of time? You heading out somewhere? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or. Uh, sometime dire soon. So, this is Groundbreaker's message center. Well, yeah. The comm center routes all messages within, to, and from the Groundbreaker. We also switchboard most of the message traffic throughout the Halcyon system. Of course, we're about to go dead, so I may be reappropriated to Architect Knows Where doing Law Knows What soon enough. And why are you about to lose comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. How are you completely cut off by losing just one relay station? Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. Ships and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the Groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. What about the other auxiliary... auxiliary... auxiliary? I don't know how to pronounce that. Auxiliary... 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 What about the other auxiliary stations? The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the fritz. Can the ship relay messages to each other? That they can and they do. But only between ships owned by the same corporation. No corp will authorize sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. And no corp will relay messages for the Wildcat freighters. Not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul anyway. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreakers neither corporate owned nor board controlled. Our comms are neutral. Well, it sounds like it's time for the auxiliary stations back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. Well, seems irresponsible not to have fixed your backup relay before now. We don't know why it went down or if it's even a hardware-related issue. Getting a team out there takes time and money, neither of which we have readily on hand. And we do have multiple auxiliaries, just they won't be in orbital range during the next few months. Our backup station will be. If it weren't for the occlusion event coming our way, we'd be doing fine as always. Okay, what is it, what is it for me if I investigate you relay problem? You save my comm center from chaos, I guarantee I'll get the chief to authorize some payment forms with your name on them while you're out fixing the station. Very well, I could go and check it out. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. What Better do you mean? Never, eh? The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. 
I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. You just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay. It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. Right. I seen June Lay fix a turbine with just engine tape and bailing wire. She I want to take a look at your it. nose. It seems unnatural. Hmm. Well, we can thinker my pistol, or we can try to thinker this one. What level can you reach? Oh my god, really? 51. Don't get me wrong, this pistol is amazing. 56? Um. Okay, I'm gonna switch you out. We won't have a sniper. But we will have a sniper. What, what are we getting rid of then? Nothing, that's just an extra weapon. Okay. And we were down there before. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. That's nice. This is Halcyon Dunes. We interrupt your schedule. There is a box up there. Medical bay. Fine. I'm gonna toss a die and see. I'm gonna give you a second chance, but only on 5 and 6 I'm going to hire you. Unlike Felix, who is going to have a dice for 1, 2 and 3 not hiring, and 4, 5 and 6 hiring. So, you have... 6, wow. Okay, you got lucky. Thought about my offer? I'm not getting any younger, and you're not getting any better looking. Welcome aboard. I still don't understand. Why do you want to come with me? You barely know who I am. It's simple. You helped me out of a tight spot. I gotta pay you back somehow. Besides, I'm a merc in need of a ship. Running around with strangers is part of the job. I thought you were a doctor. But yes, I can use a bodyguard. You won't be sorry. Or if you are, just add it to my debt and we'll figure something out. Companions. You've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support, they skills enchant your skills, they increase your carrying capacity, you can unlock special companion combat ability with inspirational skills. Learn about your companions in the companion ledger. Okay, do we have any armors I can give you? Welding goggles, 15 engineering, minus one precision. I don't know where I got you from, but I'm gonna keep you. In fact, I'm going to use you when I start breaking stuff. Felix, right. 1, 2 and 3, you stay here. 4, 5 and 6, you go home. It's amazing, 1. Apparently the Dices don't like Felix at all. One of them interstellar jump. Hey, you're back. Yeah. So, we could speak with each other, but that's gonna be next time. Let's just go inside the ship so we can save the game and I need to sleep. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. You have acquired Pete. What? Did you bring me anything? New parts? Last weekend's crossword puzzle? Perfect. 
Preferably not already filled out this time. Hmm. Okay, Ellie, let's take a look at you. I do like her coat. What does it give you? Oh, well, you have a auto mag pistol. And it's heavily upgraded, so I'm gonna keep it for now. Medical plus 10, so you are a doctor. I was starting to get worried. Block goes up. Engineering. Heavy. Don't think I need that. 21. Inspiration. Go with this. Streetwear. Fancy. So, what do you give me? Tech skills. Hmm. This one will give you dodge. Inventory. Now, if I wear this, I don't like the sleeves ending so abruptly. 13 armor, though. What level is that? 11. Just keep your ammo for now. Seems like I'm carrying quite a lot of heavy stuff here. That's because I'm thirsty and sleepy. So, let's get some sleep. And this is where I'm gonna end the episode. So, thank you all for joining me. And I'm gonna see you all. Next time. Hmm. <laughs> Goodbye.